Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, October 16th, 2018. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. It appears this morning here, markets will be uh, opening higher. We have uh, a bit of a continuation in overnight trading from the 2745s here yesterday and continuing higher into 63 half. Uh, at the moment, this market again appears to be building for a breakout move and based off of the recent sell-off based off this stretch to the downside in most cases uh, price will usually bounce back up by some measure again at least back toward that midpoint to solidify that move and then it can do whatever it wants it can go straight down again or go back up straight up or whatever it might do in most cases after this type of elongated stretched move you do get a bounce back but at the same time we may be done going straight up for right now and instead again we have this level here the 2875 2878 zone that becomes resistance now even if price were to bounce it may become resistance that could lead to a bigger pullback and even then nothing says that we have to break up through the top of this range we have an inside double triple inside day this one's inside this one this one's inside this one this day so far inside this one but we at least have a double inside day there those can break again to the downside if this 40 does not hold that could be what opens up another big wave down another big stop run day down that gets us 2700 and maybe a little lower so again it's not guaranteed that we bounce out of here right now but I am positioned long here uh, for continuation toward that midpoint uh, overall and so right now looking to see if there's any signs of failure because if any failure to hold 2740 could could open up much more weakness and at that point this could could see another leg down so keep in mind this doesn't have to bounce but it is building that energy right now over the last few days for a breakout opportunity and hopefully again we get that midpoint that would cement that key range and give us a great key range to work off of heading into the end of the year. Let's take a look at the NQ. You can copy and paste that analysis for the NQ as well. Um, not quite double inside or triple inside day, but we do have inside day yesterday. Uh, again, this one is holding the 70-40 zone, which has been very important in this uh, in this chart. We continue to hold 7K in that LVN at 6,900. That's a very solid bounce. Again, it's holding just enough, just enough to remain bullish for a shot at claiming that 73.18 quarter at some point soon. Uh, again, like the ES, this doesn't have to break to the upside. It can clearly break down, and a failure to hold 70.40 could open up uh, much more weakness here to the downside. So again, got to keep an eye on that zone here today. So one thing to watch for is if we do try to break to the upside, if there's any rejection up here, that could be a big tell of what's to come. So keep that in mind. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. Crude is down about eight tenths of a percent right now. Uh, in the previous session, we did have a failed new high right here, but it wasn't the strongest. At one point, it was. It bounced back up, gave us tails on both ends. Again, this market appears to be headed lower at the moment. We have rejected these highs. We talked about 76s leading to weakness. It did. We talked about the defense at 75s leading to weakness. It did. Yesterday, we talked about another failed new high potentially leading to more weakness. And right now, that's building out. Do we get another push downward? And in this case, we'd be targeting 69.34 as the next downside target. Right now, bears keeping 72s offered for a shot at dropping that into that level. All right, let's take a look now at gold. For the first time in a very long time, gold is actually holding gains after a bounce. That also could be a sign of things to come. Very, very narrow. Uh, range that it built out here you can see the key range the impulse move and then price basically traded in the middle 25 percent of that key range for quite a while that is what I call a neutral key range and it's an energy building phase that can lead to major breakout opportunities and the breakout right now occurring to the upside still holding 1220 multiple days running now that's very bullish in the near term we still haven't been able to see any price test 1240 uh, ever since we had that day right there, I mentioned 1240 could be a very solid target to reach. We hadn't gotten there yet. We had a great bounce into about 1220, 
but fell shy of the 1240s. And now, again, even with the big burst, we haven't gotten there. That's a big key level right there. And whenever price is able to really establish acceptance above 1240, that's when it opens up more upside into 1287 and 1300. Any failure to hold 1220 could rotate this thing right back down to 1200 and perhaps even lower. So right now, showing a bit of strength by holding these gains. But again, got to continue to watch 1220 for signs of failure. Let's take a look right now at the YM. Here's the YM again, very solid hold off of support. We've been talking about the 24880s uh, in that area. And again, it's been a great area to buy over and over again. Is this going to lead to another major push to new highs or is it just going to get us to the midpoint. If so, 25,930 is the target. Again, inside ranges here, and the expectation is that we continue to show some strength off the lows and push into 25,90, maybe as high as 25, or rather 26,250. However, we may not get beyond that point. Instead, after this elongated move, if we come up here, we might begin to see weakness. Uh, and in at the very least, some type of holding pattern. So right now, again, can we bounce up into 25,930, or is there going to be a failure? A failure, again, could dip this thing even uh, lower, and again, the next level down would be 24K. That's the next major area of support for this chart. So if price cannot hold, these 25s opens up much more weakness into about 24. So those are the levels to watch as we head into the new day of trading. Everyone, good luck, trade well, and I'll see you soon.